With the continued development of new vaccines over the past 40 years, the recommendations for pneumococcal vaccination in adults have become increasingly complicated. Fortunately, the recent approval of two new vaccines, PCV15 and PCV20 in 2021, have provided CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices an opportunity to simplify these recommendations. Vaccination recommendations are dependent on three main factors, age, risk factors for contracting pneumonia, and vaccination history. There are two age group categories for adults, 18 to 64 and 65 or older. For adults 18 to 64 who have not been vaccinated or with an unknown vaccination history, pneumococcal vaccination is recommended for certain chronic medical conditions, cochlear implants, cerebrospinal fluid leakage, and immunocompromising conditions that increase the risk of pneumonia. Depending on risk factors, previous guidelines recommended either PPSV23 alone or PCV13 followed by PPSV23 with or without redosing with PPSV23 after five years. Previous guidelines have been simplified to include all factors that increase risk of pneumonia with the same recommendation, PCV15, followed by PSV23 eight weeks to one year later, depending on immunocompromised status or PCV20 only. Previous recommendations also varied for patients 65 years and older. For individuals with chronic medical conditions, recommendations included PCV13, if not already received, followed by PPSV23 with a final dose at age 65 or older. For individuals 65 years and older with no chronic medical conditions, previous recommendations included PPSV23 preceded by a dose of PCV13 based on shared decision-making between healthcare provider and patient. Here again, the new recommendations have been simplified to include both these groups 65 and older and mirror the recommendations for younger adults, which is PCV15 followed by PPSV23 or PCV20 only. In summary, pneumococcal vaccination recommendations were greatly simplified in February of 2022. Following previous pushes to vaccinate everyone with first PCV13 and then PPSV23, recommendations are now moving toward a PCV15 PPSV23 combination or PCV20 standalone. To ensure proper vaccination status, it is more important than ever to consider previous and current recommendations to make sure all patients are up to date.